Hello, Pulsed Electromagnetic Field Therapy, also known as PEMF, is a drug-free non-invasive pain relief alternative treatment which also promotes accelerating healing for alignments and injuries. PEMF therapy improves sleep, mental focus and the body's overall performance by helping the energy output and regeneration of the body's cells. In several of my previous videos I describe ways to make such a device yourself. Due to the great interest and many questions that were asked to me in the previous period, I decided to make this video in which I will try to explain the working principle and its components in a very simple way so that those readers who only have basic technical knowledge could understand what is what it is about. I will also describe to you the simplest way so far to make such a device yourself and try the effects of this type of therapy. I want to emphasize that I am not a medical person and I will not discuss the effects, although I personally have positive experiences. However, I can confirm, which is also scientifically proven, that this type of low frequency magnetic flux therapy does not have any negative health effects except for persons where it is contraindicated, like pregnancy, pacemakers, bleeding, active tuberculosis and malignancies. In fact, the MRI imaging uses magnetic fields that are thousands of times stronger than those at PEMF and we will and we all know that this imaging is completely completely harmless. In the development of this project, I was helped by PCBWay, which is one of the most experienced PCB manufacturing company in China in field of PCB prototype and fabrication. If you want to make your own PCB for this project or for any other electronic project, PCBWay is a great choice. They have a large online community when where you can find the open source project and you can also share your project there. From my personal experience, I can tell you that on this community you can find many useful projects with already designed PCBs from uh, where you can place an order directly. Also, you can get 10 PCBs for only $5. So if you want your PCB, just type pcbway.com on your browser. Each PEMF device basically consists of three parts. That is signal generator, amplifier for this signal, and coil, coil that generates the magnetic flux. Many devices can be used as a source of rectangular pulses. Uh, several versions of this small signal generator generators can be purchased for less than $10. This is a great little device and is, and is suitable if we have some experience building electronic devices so we can make, make an independent PEMF device like this or this. Uh, in addition to selecting the frequency, uh, we can also control the duty cycle, which should normally be around 10 to 50 percent. The next option is a commercial programmable waveform generator for PEMF, which is quite ex expensive and not suitable for our case. One of the simpler ways is free signal generator software for Windows on which there are many and almost all of them are free for private use and even simpler but with fewer options is the possibility to use an online tone generator. We just need to enter the desired frequency here Otherwise, for commercial PEMF devices, frequencies between 6 and 70 Hz are common. Uh, we can put 13 Hz. Uh, then we select a type of signal, in our case square or soft or triangle. We can choose square signal. And press play button. It is interesting that uh, we also have the option to save the given frequency in a file with a duration of 10 seconds. Uh, 
and then we can transfer this file to an SD card and play it through any MP3 player while we have to turn on repeat option. The next part of the PMF generator is the signal amplifier for which we have three options. First, we can buy an audio amplifier with a power of 30 watts or more and use it only for this device, which is a relatively expensive option. The next option is if we have a home audio amplifier, uh, we can also use it for this purpose, avoiding additional expenses. The, th the third option comes into con consideration if we have some experience in making electronic devices and in that case, in that case uh, we would make one of the MOSFET amplifiers that I have presented to you in my previous videos. The third part is the coil in which the magnetic flux is created and it is usually the most difficult component to build yourself. Now I will give you some general recommendations that you will have to follow if you decide to build a coil yourself. If you think you can't make it yourself based on these recommendations, you can order some to make it for you, of course, for a reasonable price. An isolated lacquered copper or aluminum wire should be used to make the coil. If you use a standard audio amplifier, the ohmic resistance of the coil should not be less than 3.6 ohms, and this is a basic rule to follow when making the coil. Uh, if you use an amplifier with a multiple MOSFET transistor, like this, present in, my, in one of my previous videos or similar, the ohmic resistance can go down to 0.5 ohms. The lower the resistance and consequently the larger the cross section of the wire, uh, the stronger the magnetic field that is radiated. Now a few words about the shape of coil. Uh, if the diameter of coil is smaller, like this, the magnetic flux is stronger, but therefore the surface on which it radiates is smaller. And vice versa, is that if the diameter is larger, the magnetic field is weaker, but radiates on a large surface. A special case are uh, Helmut's coils, a pair of conducting, conducting circular coins separated by distance equivalent to the radius of the circular loops, produced a homogeneous magnetic field in the mean plane between the two circular coils, but they are a little more characteristic for building, and uh, that will be discussed in one other, another occasion. These are ready-made coils that I had from previous projects and they have an ohmic resistance of about 15 ohms. So the field they generate is weaker and amounts to about 5 gauss, which is still quite enough for magnetic therapy. However, if you want to achieve a stronger magnetic field, the ohmic resistance of the coil should be about 5 ohms, ohms at least 3.6. And with a 50 watts power amplifier, a magnetic field with a straight of 20 gauss is obtained. To achieve lower resistance, coils should be wound with a thicker wire. I would like to give you two simple examples of making a coil with materials, materials that you can easily get or have at home. The first coil uh, has a diameter of about 20 cm and contains 200 windings of lacquered wire with a diameter of 0.25 to 0.5 mm square. This coil is practical in, uh, in the sense that it can be used when treating the leg on arm, but it can also be used on any part of the body. The other example is a finished coil and it is actually the primary windings of a 150 watts or more transformer, like this, but bigger, with the iron part removed and consists of about 400 turns of lacquered copper wire with a thickness of 0.35 mm square. The magnetic field of this type of coil is stronger in the middle of the coil 
than in the previous case and, pre and penetrates a greater distance, but therefore occupies a smaller area. In the following I will show you how to make the simplest PEMF device at home using materials that can be found very easily. Uh, the signal generator, generator function is taken over by a, any smartphone which I hope you all have at hand. Uh, it is only necessary to install the previously mentioned free application signal generator. To amplify the rectangular signal generated by the smartphone, uh, uh, we will use an ordinary audio amplifier that we usually have to, for listening, listening music. If we, if we don't want to use uh, the amplifier for this purpose, we can buy an uh, inexpensive Class D amplifier with Bluetooth connectivity that, that costs less than $40 and uses laptop power supply 19 volt DC. Finally, we need uh, one of the coils whose production I described earlier. Uh, now we need to connect a cable from the phone's headphone jack. To, a, um, to the AUX or similar universal input on the amplifier. Next, at the place where the speakers are connected, we connect the coil to the place of speaker. And that's all. We made the simplest PMF machine. We turn on the amplifier and the, and the smartphone software in which we enter the desired frequency. Next, we turn the volume potentiometer up to 50% to check if the, uh, and, and, and place and press start on the phone. Uh, to check if the device works, we need to bring a small neomedium magnet close to the coil and the magnet should move. Now let's see how this look in reality. What there is, there is big misconception about the frequencies and the way in which PEMF therapy is used and it is equated with RIFE devices. The frequencies used in commercial PEMF devices manufactured by reputable medical equipment manufacturers range from 6 Hz to 70 Hz and the magnetic flux ranges from 4 to 23 Gauss. It radiates with a single frequency for 20 to 30 minutes a day. I'm telling you this because I had the opportunity to visit several physiotherapy facilities that provide services in this area, PEMF therapy. I am currently preparing a video about facts, deletions, characteristics when purchasing or building a PEMF device and I will publish it soon. Of course, as an electrician, I will stick to the characteristics in the domain of physics and a little human psychology and marketing and I will leave the medical benefits and effects to be discussed by the people who are competent in that field.